As the 2020 season begins, One American News, uh, One America's uh, Jack Posobiec says that the mainstream media is too focused on President Trump's tweets. He says there's another story below the surface. Take a look. Well, the 2020 campaign season is upon us, and things are completely flipped upside down from 2016. Now, instead of a surging challenger, Trump is actually the incumbent holding the Oval Office for over three years. And he's left his mark on Washington, D.C. But while the mainstream media loves to focus on Trump's tweets and, of course, his style, the hidden story of the White House is the work that's quietly being done for our country by the senior members of his administration. And while you might not hear about these policy initiatives on other media, the administration will certainly be highlighting their policy record as they move into November. Robert O'Brien is the president's new national security director, a former U.S. Army Reserve officer. O'Brien oversaw the Qasem Soleimani strike in Iran, the withdrawal of U.S. troops in Syria, and brought new reforms to the National Security Council, a place they really needed it. Jared Kushner, the president's senior advisor, authored and led the team that crafted the Middle East peace plan, laying out a two-state solution in Israel and offering economic and political incentives. Kushner was a key player as well in the U.S.-China trade deal and USMCA. And in late 2019, President Trump reportedly put Kushner in charge of overseeing the Wall Construction Project, a crucial initiative from 2016 to deliver on for the base and for all Americans. U.S. Trade Representative Robert Lighthizer was confirmed in 2017 and played a key role in ending NAFTA and negotiating the U.S.-China-Mexico agreement, USMCA. Lighthizer used pro-American worker tactic of tariffs to achieve the U.S.-China trade deal. Finally, Lighthizer has been a longtime skeptic of the U.S.-China supply chain relationship. That's pretty important. Stating that markets do not run better when manufacturing shifts to China, largely because of the actions of its government. The first daughter, Ivanka Trump, is also a senior advisor to the president. In her role, Ivanka is well known for championing women's causes both at home and abroad. Ivanka is also leading a White House initiative called the Pledge to America's Workers and pushed for the White House executive order establishing a national council for the American worker, on which Ivanka serves as co-chair that provides skills-based training and opportunities to American students and workers. In early 2020, Ivanka confirmed that the administration would be expanding the fight against human and child trafficking, one of her signature issues. This included an executive order combating the real-time sharing of child exploitation images online. Everyone can agree with this. Look for the White House to emphasize these themes and more as they move towards Election Day. And while the mainstream media is no doubt focused on Trump's tweets, it turns out that there are many on the team at work in the administration every day. For One American News, I'm Jack Posobiec. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube. And call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.